Hey guys, welcome to the Fame Insider. Since receiving a lot of backlash for allegedly bullying a young fan at Bafana Bafana's match against Congo, many people have been monitoring Umama Joy's actions very closely, and her behavior has come under scrutiny yet again. As the public continues mourning the passing of Uti Tomboweni, many people are posting their tributes on the socials, and so far, many have shared beautiful tributes to Uti Tomboweni, remembering him for his excellence humility and tenacity. Fans have also been poking fun at his dishes and cooking skills. Now Tito always had fans in stitches with his meals and cooking skills which resulted in fans giving him the nickname Garlic King. While Umama Joy also tried to pay tribute to Tito Mboweni by recreating his famous apron look and posing with a tin of Lucky Star pilchards. She added the following caption to her picture. May your soul rest in peace Mr. Tito Mboweni. Boweni at Lucky Star South Africa, I now eat tinned fish because of him at Dango. Unfortunately, before she knew it, Umama Joy was being bashed for her post, with fans accusing her of being a cloud chaser and trying to profit off of Uti Tomboweni's passing. Now you guys, I don't know if fans are still annoyed with Umama Joy because of the way she behaved at the Bafana Bafana match, or maybe they are just over her as a public figure, but high fans seem to no longer be vibing with her at all. So someone commented on her post and said, when you are looking for a sponsor or to become an ambassador, you are trying to knock into Lucky Star SA's doors. Another said, first you try to grab the attention of camera by pushing the boys a poster down. Now this, you really feel like everything revolves around you. Now you guys, from the comments, it is quite clear that fans are not happy with Umama Joy and maybe she should come out with an apology to the young boy she bullied at the match cause I don't see this ending well for her at all.